our GMA cover story. Supermodel and TV personality Chrissy Teigen is opening up in her new interview about her struggle with alcohol and the moment she realized she needed to, quote, fix herself by cutting back. Nightline's Juju Chang has that story. This morning, supermodel, TV personality, and doting mom Chrissy Teigen says she's never felt more alive, experiencing a reset on her health. The 31-year-old told Cosmopolitan magazine she decided to cut down on her drinking after attending a wellness retreat in Bali with family earlier this month. I was, point blank, just drinking too much, the supermodel told the magazine. Nobody really brought it up to me, she said, adding she can't just have one drink. Tegan told Cosmo she abstained from alcohol entirely during her Bali trip. It was really, really wonderful, she said. I would wake up feeling amazing. My skin felt amazing. I was just so happy. During her trip, she even posted this photo with husband John Legend with the caption, my body and mind have never felt so clear. It's exceedingly important that adults buy into the idea that they have to be flexible and willing to make changes as they move along in life. It's okay to step out of certain elements of your life if that is really reinforcing something for you that's bad behavior. Wildly popular on social media, the former spokeswoman for rum and vodka brands has even shared moments post-partying with her fans. We're having rum and it's a mama. But Tegan tells the magazine with plans of expanding her family on the horizon, her days of drinking are winding down. I used to think it was kind of nutty to have to go totally sober, she said. But now I get it. I don't want to be that person. I have to fix myself. For Good Morning America, Juju Chang, ABC News, New York. Our thanks to Juju for that. And our senior medical contributor, Dr. Jen Ashton, is here. So a lot of people struggle with this. How much is too right. much, generally speaking? So in medical school, we have what's called a CAGE questionnaire. And this is how doctors are trained. It's a screening tool, if you will, for alcohol abuse or substance abuse. Take a look at the, the letters. It stands for C-A-G-E. So could these questions, have you ever tried to cut down on your drinking? Has anyone ever annoyed you about the amount that you drink? Uh, G is, do you feel guilty ever? about your drinking any is do you ever need an eye opener you get zero points for the answer no one for every yes a score of two or more is considered clinically significant indicating there may be a problem now again that's for really on the high end of use I also see in my practice kind of more subtle signs these are not official but they can be pink flags like is your weight increasing because of the amount of alcohol you're consuming are you is your drinking interfering with your work life or your social life and are you getting into trouble because of this Right. on social media or or even with the law those can be some pretty significant signs and medically speaking what does alcohol do to your body well, look we know it is possible to consume alcohol in moderate amounts safely, but in excessive amounts, it's a toxin. And we know that it's been associated with various types of cancers, breast cancer, esophageal cancer, liver cancer. So again, it's on a spectrum here, um, ranging from it's okay to it can be deadly. And speaking of spectrum, there's a huge one when it comes to men and women, correct? Oh, yeah. There's no gender equality when it comes to alcohol. First of all, just based on sheer size, m most women are smaller than men, but we metabolize alcohol differently. Again, for women, kind of average is one drink a day. For men, it's two. Above that, it's considered excessive. And we know also in the news recently, Binge drinking in women in this country is skyrocketing. The definition of binge drinking, four or more drinks in a two-hour period, and we're seeing that go up amongst women, not so much against men. All right, so what are some of the tools? What, what can we do if we want to cut down how much we're consuming? Well, I think, again, we have to specify here, we're not talking about alcoholic level. We're talking about, you know, kind of everyone else who's trying to cut down. Really what one. you're saying is for women, more than one drink a day. That's right which you know is exactly. pretty easy to get to. So number one, you could cut the number of days that you consume alcohol. You can cut the amount that you're consuming. You can try a dry period, and this can be anything from a weekend to a week to a month to longer. Recruit social support and family support. It's very difficult to do this by yourself if everyone in your circle right. is consuming. And lastly, it's really not last, it's the most important. Seek professional help. There are people, this is all they do, and th they are very good at it, and it can be life-saving. All right, Dr. Jed, as always, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. 
We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.